My name is Chris Graves, and this is my 1975 Shovelhead Chopper. It was a Born Free invited build, which is my first and only. So I built this bike in 2018, mostly between like January and June, Born Free's in June. So it was basically the craziest single year of my entire life. I've always, always wanted to build a shovel with two front heads, and I always wanted to build like a really rideable reliable shovel with two front heads. It's got a 74 cubic inch displacement, but it's got a bigger cam in there. And it, you know, and it does perform pretty well with the, the two carb setup, those two amels, which are tricky to tune. But yeah, it just performs like a hopped up little shovel. Yeah, frame's 100% me. It's all um, chrome moly 4130 tubing. It took a long time to make that frame. And then I wanted to keep the rear end narrow, but still fit what I have going on with those little swing arms and needle bearings. The rear suspension, it's pretty cool. The, the wheel travel is about an inch and an eighth. You know, that's about the vertical wheel travel, which if you've ridden hardtail, it's just enough to take that sting away in your kidneys, you know? The seat post of the frame is actually an air reservoir. And, and then that cross member that goes across the uh, top of the seat post is a manifold. And then so I have a few, um, you know, little NPT fittings, and then I plumb that into a couple solenoid valves, so you can just raise it and lower it. And then there's another circuit that has a fill valve and a dump valve for the seat, so the seat also has air bags under it that like raise the seat up, and so you can fill that on demand and dump it on demand. Well, I love the way two Magnetos looks. I'm not gonna like discount that, but I really love the way it works. And when you think about what has to be reliable, like think about airplanes, small aircraft like Cessnas, they all have redundant ignition systems that aren't dependent on electrical input. Even if one shits out or and the battery shits out, you're still like in the sky or in my case, on the road. I get more questions about that front end than probably anything else on this bike. It seems like every week somebody says, where did you get the tubes or what did you do to your tubes? And they're uh, titanium nitride, like uh, you'd see on a drill bit, that yellow color. Um, but you actually just buy them from Custom Cycle Engineering makes them and they make them up to four over for the FXR guys. There's three colors of Cerakote on there, um, not just the bronze, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's a firearms coating. It's really the market that that stuff took off in, but it is used on other products. The advantages to it is uh, it's really, really tough, right? Like it has really good scratch resistance and it's essentially a dimensionless coating so you don't have to mask anything. And it does, it does well with temperature. They have a bunch of formulations. I don't know, I've always loved choppers. Even the basic hardtail, simple, timeless, lack of real functionality, that, that's my draw. But if you could take that and, and then add a little functionality to it and still, I don't know, hopefully keep it tasteful in the same way or keep it like doing the same thing to you visually, then, uh, then why not?